Problem number one. What would be the extraneous solution that you would obtain when you solve the given equation? So the equation we have is the square root of 3x plus 28, and it's equal to x. And we're being asked for the extraneous solution. So the extraneous solution is the answer we get that does not check. So we'll go through the entire process of solving this equation and then we'll check our answers. And the answer that doesn't check, that's called the extraneous solution. Okay, so to solve this equation, we have to get rid of the square root. So we'll start by squaring both sides. So parentheses, square root, 3x plus 28. Then we'll square that side, and then we'll square this side as well. The 2 gets rid of the square root, so we have 3x plus 28 and that's equal to x squared. So now we have a quadratic equation. So whenever you have a quadratic equation, you want to set it equal to zero. So we'll subtract the three x and the 28 from both sides, minus three x, minus 28. So these go away and we're left with x squared minus three x minus 28 and that's all equal to zero. This should factor, so it should look something like this, x parentheses, x parentheses, and this is equal to zero. Let's see, we need two numbers that multiply to negative 28, but add to negative three. So seven and four, that gives us 28, and it looks like the negative has to go in front of the seven, right? Because if you add negative seven plus four, you get negative three, so that looks okay. You have a product equal to zero, so you set each piece equal to zero. X minus seven equals zero, and then X plus four equals zero. So we have seven, and then we have negative four. So those are our two possible answers. So we want the answer that doesn't check. So what we'll do now is we'll take these numbers and we'll plug them back into the original equation, right? So let's check seven first. I'll do it up here. So check seven. So putting a 7 in here for the x, we get square root 3 times 7 plus 28, and that's equal to 7. So 3 times 7, that's 21. So we get 21 plus 28, and all of that's equal to 7. So we have the square root of 49, and that's equal to 7. And the square root of 49 is 7, so good stuff. So that's the actual solution to the equation. We want the answer that doesn't check, so let's try negative 4. That should not check. So plugging in negative 4 for the x, we get 3 times negative 4 plus 28, and that should be equal to negative 4, running out of room. <laughs> so you get negative 12 plus 28. That's uh, square root of 16, and that should be equal to negative 4. But the square root of 16 is 4. So is that equal to negative 4? No, it fails, right? So the answer we want is this one. This is called the extraneous solution. So in this case, the choice is D. So the answer to number 1 is D. That's it.